What's good, yo? To what's good, yo? To it's your boy Photo, and we back, man. Like we was back the last time, but we we back again, another time. But anyway, man, I didn't get a chance to catch that fight from um uh Adrian Bronner and Mikey Garcia, man. But However, you know, YouTube has the highlights and I would love to provide you with a reaction video of epic proportion because you know, man, Adrian Brunner is my guy and I still believe in him. Even though he, you know, he disappointed a few times, I'm still rocking with AB. But let's, before we get to the video, let's set the stage for this thing. Now, Mikey Garcia, now I've watched him in a couple of undercard fights, dog. And that kid can fight, man. I'm telling you. Now, he's at a disadvantage in this fight. I I knew it. I wish I could have caught it live, but he's at a disadvantage. He usually fights at 130, and he's moved up to the one to 145 to fight Adrian Bronner. Dude, this dude can really, really throw them hands, man. He can really, really get down and throw them hands. All right. And if you if you watch this dude, Mikey Garcia, dude, he has dominated his his whole um his pound is his weight class is the word i'm looking for he's dominated his whole weight class and we it was, as we going back to um uh, ab man the reason i'm picking him because that's my guy and also i like bigger fighters man he's the bigger fighter in the fight for like almost the first time ever you know what i'm saying so he's actually the bigger fighter in the, in, the, in he's the bigger fighter in this weight class and also you can't go against the full-time champ, right? Come on, AB. So, without further ado, man, let's get right into this, man. Where's the history button? Boom. Let's get right into it, man. July 30th, right. 2017. Saw some great contests take place at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, courtesy of Showtime and Sky Sports. In the main event, Broner had promised to silence his critics in the press Broner! as he was shocked by being the betting underdog for his clash with a three-weight world champion, Mikey Garcia, who was coming off a stunning knockout victory over Dehan Zlotichinen in his last outing. Man, y'all tripping, bro. That, that five to one. That, that that's just ridiculous. <laughs> that's just, Is it though? It's just like too disrespectful. I heard now though it's almost like a dollar, and you'll get a dollar. And they know that he ain't nowhere near me, Donna. And and after I make it look easy, I want all you motherfuckers out here who writing these badass stories about me to put something good up. The ring walk from Broner was just what we expected, but the <laughs> smile was soon removed from his face as Garcia quickly asserted his authority on the contest, winning the first half of the fight very comfortably. Garcia doesn't like to attack the body, but it was an important element of what he did here. Look at the key positioning again by Garcia. He doesn't get too close to smother himself. Yes. He knows he's got Broner against the ropes, maintains the proper Damn, position. is he going to get off so the ropes? Leverage on the shots. Broner gave his all in round nine after his trainer grilled him at ringside. But despite his best efforts, Garcia put on a boxing clinic and won pretty much every round on my scorecard. Broner tried to be humble in his post-fight interview after giving Garcia his due credit, but an uncomfortable question from Jim Gray quickly turned him back to his old self. And unfortunately, he didn't they come said out. it's a do or die fight. If I fight tomorrow, then everybody in this month still come see me, man. At the end of the day, listen, I'm still A B. I'm still about billions. I'm still the can man. I'm still a fighting my Anybody still can't get it. And if you want a rematch in California, we can do it. Do you feel like this fight deserves a rematch? Uh, I mean, I think I dominated fairly easy. Uh, Damn! I mean, I, if he really wanted it and the network wanted it and the fans asked for it, then maybe. But as it is right now, I think I got nothing else to prove against, against Adrian Broner. Garcia has said he's ready for every top challenger from lightweight to welterweight, and the names that everyone on Twitter was talking about were a potential matchup with Vasily Lomachenko or Terence Crawford. The, the name at 135 everyone's interested in is Mikey Garcia. What do you think about that? Oh, I don't speak that, bro. You gonna have to. I want to Translation, you need subtitles. And this is the fight that will make history. I want to make this fight right away. Thanks for watching, Fight Fans. If you'd like to see more uh, weekly roundups like this in the future, remember to leave a like on the video and if you Dog, I can't believe he lost that, dog. I can't I cannot believe, man. I can't believe he lost that fight. I wish they would have showed more highlights from it. But uh I understand why why they did not, because um when you got uh pay-per-view fights like that. 
you know what I'm saying, HBO and Showtime, they become band happy. They like anything that you do, anything that you put out, they will uh, they will actually slap the uh, copyright strike on your ass, real the worldwide ban on your ass so fast it ain't even funny, man. So, man. I hate to say this, man, but I knew it, dog. Every, I think everybody knew it, dog. Everybody, everybody. Like, I, I hate to go against the guys that uh, I've, I've been rocking with for their whole career. You know me. I'm I, I'm a KD fan. You know that. So, I'm not going to get... I'm not, I can't go against the guys that, that I've been rocking with my whole career. You know what I'm saying? I can't. But I, I've heard... I've seen this Mikey G, dog, dude, and... um. I knew right away he's going to be an issue for Adrian Broner, bro. But I was just, I, I keep faith, dog. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I remain humble. And I'm like, AB going to make the adjustments. But to be honest, he's never made the adjustments. He has never made the adjustments. And if I'm, hit me in the comments. He don't strike me as the person that watch some, study it, and then make the adjustments. And he, did, he didn't do it again, dog. I, I, could, I could tell, man. He didn't, he didn't make the adjustments again. He just got his ass pounded. I can see it. At least he didn't get his ass knocked out. So he kind of saved face. But the dude said, he stood up there with not a scratch on his face and said, uh, I dominated AB pretty, pretty, pretty dominantly. Pretty easily, he said. I dominated him pretty easily. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I dominated him pretty easily, dog. So... Uh, nobody knows what AB a going from here, man. People are people leave in the comment section, bro. Are people getting tired of watching Adrian Broner fight, or you know what I'm saying? Do they believe that he can once again be restored to his old AB or reach his potential, man? Anyway, man, it's your boy Photo. I catch y'all next time, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button, man. Help us on our 1K grind, man. I appreciate everything. See y'all next time. Be easy, be safe, be blessed. Peace.